Breakfast with Phil Upton. BBC CWR. 528, uh, two years ago today, we went into the first national lockdown as coronavirus began to take its hold. Sadly, we are not over it yet. Many still feeling the impact, and we've seen, haven't we, a rise in case numbers uh, over the last few days alone. But in the past few weeks, a giant memorial to those affected by COVID-19 has been built at the workshops of the RSC in Stratford-upon-Avon. It's all happened with the help of a Coventry student, BBC CWR's Ushma Mystery. It's got more. It looks like a temple. Taryn's a student and has been helping to create a giant sculpture in Bedworth Miners Park. And the actual size of it, 22 metres, is something you don't build in one go. Imagine coming across a beautiful, intricate wooden structure, which is as tall as three and a half giraffes, and then watching it burn to the ground in front of you. Well, in May, that's exactly what's going to happen. It's called Sanctuary by American sculptor David Best, and it's what he's famous for. But once it's in the park, you can go along and write or draw a personal message directly onto it for a loved one who's lost their life to COVID before it's burnt in a ritual ceremony. I met Taron at his North Warwick and South Leicestershire College campus where he's studying level three carpentry. We do uh, kite winder stairs, which is winding stairs, double doors, fire doors. As a devout Sikh, the concept of seva or selflessness and helping others is at their core. And for Taryn, being able to work on the sanctuary memorial meant he was able to fulfil that role. I am building this for everyone to put something into it as well, so it's a commemoration piece. I think it will be sad, very cathartic as well, but for everyone, we've got somewhere that they can come, put whatever memories, put whatever feelings they can, and just to let them go. To be a part of that is, is, is absolutely amazing. Taron got to work on the project as a placement from his college, but it'll be something all students there can be involved in. Dawn Howellsby, Student Employability Manager for North Warwickshire and South Leicestershire College. A lot of us have been affected by COVID. So I think that for our college to be involved in something so unique and so big is an amazing opportunity. And our students that have really struggled through COVID will be joining him in any of those messages and helping him build it. So it will be more of, of the community coming together, including the students at the college that are able to do that. Wishing the best of luck with it. It's a fantastic uh, idea, this, isn't it, really, that we'll have that uh, huge uh, COVID memorial built in the Bedworth Miners' Welfare Park, filled with the names of those who've lost and then burnt in their memory. In the next hour, we're going to tell you how you can get involved with the project and we'll speak to uh, Helen from uh, Artichoke, who uh, is leading the whole arts project behind it. A couple of minutes away from 8 o'clock, we know about the radio 